All right. As promised, you're a proud conservative, as you should be. This is America. That's fine. We should all be allowed to freely express ourselves. Was it hard expressing your conservative views in the NBA? I don't think so. I think people, uh, I think people kind of blow it out of proportion. I think now it gets so much vitriol on both sides. Um, you know, it, I never had a problem in the locker room. I think there was always, uh, I wouldn't say I was ever anywhere near the majority, but, um, I think when you, when you get, when you spend that much time with people and you have as many shared experiences, there's a collective respect and understanding that, uh, you know, there's, there's room for opinions and there's not going to be some, you know, mob mentality of people that don't, don't know you and don't know why you are, what, why you are, who you are, what you stand for. And I think that was always something that, um, I appreciated because it led to good discussions as opposed to just name calling and, and whatever goes on today. So did you have good discussions with teammates and others? I think so. And continue to, I mean, I think I've, I think my personal beliefs have shifted a lot over the last call it six years. I think I've come, I I don't even really consider myself a conservative anymore based on the direction that that party's devolved into. But I think, uh, there, you know, I think back to talking to Andre or talking to Elton or Evan or guys like that about, you know, why, why do you think this way? Why do you think that way? I think it, it, uh, I think when you can get through some of the some of the mud of the conversations, it, it can strengthen relationships because you understand where, uh, you know, where guys are coming from and why they are, you know, why they think how they think and, and stand for what they do.